Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is the second part of how to find the length of a, of a line. It doesn't even have to be a curved line in Corel Draw. I was made the video last night, so if you haven't watched the first video, you need to watch it back up and watch uh, how to find the length of a curved line in Corel Draw is the name of it. I was kind of questioning the accuracy of it. And I still haven't really found the total use. I'm going to use it a lot for me, but for most people, I haven't really found the, the use. Unless you were making a box and wanted to fill it with, you know, flour or some other item you'd put in a box, you could figure out, and you could do that with math, but you could do it with this, and it could be a round shape. It could be a cylinder. So what I did, I took my shape of Texas, and I've got an area of 40.12583 square inches. So I wanted to find out the accuracy of it, and I added on one square inch. And I came out with 41, so one more square inch. And to make sure it was accurate, the length is 37 inches long. Well, now it's 38 because of the, these two inches on the side, because this, this one inch is already there. So I added two inches. Then I thought, well, is it measuring these little facets? So here is this cove right here of Texas. I just took out two nodes, and it changed it. It changed the volume and the length, I mean, from minutely, but that's how minutely I changed it. And then I thought, well, the real test would be to see, and this this could be useful for at some point. And this told me told me that this thing is dead on. I mean, whoever wrote this is is uh, smarter than me. So I took a a 12 inch by 12 inch rectangle which is 144 square inches. I took a 12 by 12 circle, which is 113.12901 square inches. Then I color filled this area and I got this segment and I measured it. And in case you haven't watched the other video, you can just grab on that shape, hit get information. And it tells you it's 7.1. 7.71775. There's four of these, so 7.71775 times four is 30.871. Add it to the 13, and it comes up to 144 cubic inches, or square inches. So, in using this, and like I said, you could fill it, fill, uh, figure out a cylinder, you know, you would just draw a circle, and it's 4.3 by 4.3. If you had something, you can make a cylinder of that shape. Get your information. You've got an area of 14.52 square inches. And then make the cylinder 10 inches tall, so you'd have, you know, 144 or 140, blah, 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 uh, square inches or cubic inches anyway hope that helped a little bit it resolved my thinking that it might not be that accurate but this thing is dead on anyway hope that helped a little bit thank you for watching